Good afternoon and welcome back to another ironic introduction to another video. Today I have a list of the best taxis in Marvel Contest of Champions. Uh, keep in mind that this list is not a comprehensive list of all of the taxis in the game, just kind of like cherry picking the ones that I think deserve to be in the list of the best. If you want a link to this spreadsheet, it'll be in the description below. Um, but otherwise, I want to start just by kind of defining what I what I mean when I say the word taxi. Now a taxi is a champion in the game that you use to clear an entire path. As long as you're not like worrying about counting a node or a specific champion, a taxi is the champion you use to take down, you know, maybe 70 to 90% of the champions in a path. Um, and what you're looking for in a really good taxi is some form of sustain uh, and some form of high burst, delayed burst, or consistent damage output. As long as you have one or both of those, you have potentially a really good taxi. So up here at the top, I just kind of have, uh, I pulled out like most, if not all of the taxis that are in the game, I think. Uh, there's probably a few more that I missed, but uh, again, I'm only going for like the best of the best here. Uh, and so, you know, they're not all, you know, on here. Like I said, it's not comprehensive, but at least it's most of them. Uh, and then after that, I've separated the best into three categories. Needs, suicides, arguably good with and without, and better without. Uh, and so I'll go ahead and I'll explain it. There might be some controversies here, but hey, you know what? I'll explain my logic and you can feel free to debate me in the comments. So first up, as far as needs suicides, I think Omega Red and Namor are the only two that need suicides to be taxis with, uh, to be considered a taxi. So Omega Red is because he gets his regeneration from suicides plus willpower, uh, plus one point in coagulate, healing off of that free bleed. He gets his burst damage from having suicides. Uh, and he needs his awakened ability. He's also better if you can run either the Sabretooth or the Deadpool X-Force synergy. It's the same synergy. You can just run either champion because uh, it's going to make your fight a lot, lot faster. Uh, and if you have, you know, at least if you have him awakened and suicide, your fights are going to be a really good time and you're going to get a free heal at the start of every fight. Namor I uh, have on here because outside of throwing specials for heals, uh, you really get most of your regeneration from running suicides plus willpower and having him max sig. Because uh, as long as you're attacking into the opponent, you're getting a free heal. And like, yes, while the bleed is kicking on, uh, you might be losing a little bit of health if you're not able to play aggressive. But once the bleed is gone, poison doesn't tick for too much when you have willpower maxed. Uh, and as long as you're attacking into the opponent, you're getting just a free amount of healing, which is a really good time. The only drawback is that Namor's like damage output is a really delayed burst. Uh, so you are going to get like a guaranteed uh, 40 to 60 second fight uh, in the medium to higher difficulty content. Uh, just as you're like waiting to ramp up to a special three but it's not too too bad and he still makes a solid taxi overall save you a lot of resources next up on the arguably good with and without I have uh, several champions on here who are just like strictly better with suicides, but they don't need them, I feel, in order to make the uh, taxi lineup. So first up is Corvus Glaive. Now Corvus Glaive, his sustain type is in his regeneration from suicides plus willpower because he doesn't take damage from bleed so long as you have glaive charges. So you're essentially just strictly healing um, from that bleed debuff. But if you don't have suicides on, uh, you know, you just lose out on that sustain, but his burst damage is still wicked insane. Uh, so you don't really uh, need to say, oh, I don't run suicide, so I can't use him as a taxi because he's still just ending fights so incredibly fast that it doesn't matter that you're not getting that res uh, regeneration as well. It just makes him a little bit better. Something to note is it does take one to two fights to ramp him up. You don't need synergies, but there are some nice ones out there, and his awakened ability has niche value if you're like trying to look for a specific node counterplay. Next up is Ghost, who is, again, better with suicides because of the damage output, uh, but her sustain is and the fact that she doesn't take any block damage uh, which is essentially you know going to keep her nice and healthy nice and topped off her damage is fairly consistent so you don't have to worry about ramping her up or anything uh, and the fights will end very quickly I find that when you're using her as a taxi I think you really 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 want to run wasp synergy now as someone who uses ghost without wasp synergy it's fine when you're using her to counter a specific champion or you're using a handful of times but when you're using her for literally every fight it's just better to slap in wasp synergy and light yourself let yourself have a better time uh, and her awakened ability is going to make your fights a lot 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 faster uh, and arguably makes her like way better of a taxi but you know i'll let you debate on that yourselves next up is captain marvel movie another better with suicides her sustain comes from her awakened ability uh 
Her awakened ability gives her invulnerability, and that is really what's going to allow you to avoid taking any kinds of damage, because her damage comes in this like really high initial burst, because like once you've got her ramped up, you can essentially get to a special 2 in like a double medium and then a 5 hit combo special 2. Hopefully the special 2 uh, either ends the fight or you can use the stun to end the fight and then like that's it, no damage taken. Uh, it does take one fight to ramp up. You ramp up and obliterate in the same fight once you're ramped up. As far as synergies go, you're really, really going to want Nick Fury. And personally, you're going to want to run Nick Fury slash the Deadpool synergy. I don't have that assumption on the rest of these champions. Uh, it's something I should note is that on the rest of these champions, of course, any champion can, can be considered a really good taxi as long as you're running Nick Fury slash Deadpool X-Force synergy or Deadpool synergy. Um, but if I did that, it kind of makes this whole list obsolete. So the assumption is that you're not running that synergy across the board. But Captain Marvel movie, this is one of the few where I'm like, no, you really, really need Nick Fury synergy. And uh, if you're already running Nick Fury synergy, you can probably run the Deadpool synergy as well. And her awakened ability is what gives her access to some like really nice value sustain. You'd be surprised of the difference between offensive invulnerability and def uh, defensive invulnerability. And Captain Marvel's offensive invulnerability is very, very nice in the form of a taxi. BWCV here is Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, her sustain comes from a sick regeneration on a special 2, which is strictly better with suicides. Uh, her damage is conditionally bursty, so she's not the best in the damage department uh, because you essentially have to choose between damage or sustain. Uh, but still, she heaps up very well and heals up or deals really good burst either way. You don't need to ramp her up. No synergy is necessary, and her awakened ability is completely unnecessary. Next up is Warlock, who is very nice because he's double immune, uh, and he gets a nice little heal off of his special 3 if you time it right, his damage is very consistent. No ramp, no synergies, awaken ability unnecessary. Next up is Dr. Voodoo, who starts every fight with a nice cheeky regeneration, um, which is strictly better uh, when he's awakened. His damage is better if the opponent is not poison immune. Um, but if they're not, po if they are poison immune, it's not the end of the world. You can just throw a special two instead and just work your way around it that way. Uh, his awakened ability is going to make your regeneration last longer, as well as really help you out in the damage department, uh, just kind of getting along poisons. Next up is Ghost Rider. Uh, his regeneration comes from triggering his heavy judgment or whatever the judgment is called when you throw your heavy. Uh, and his damage is fairly consistent, but it's also kind of low in general, which is why I think he's better with suicides as well. Uh, you don't need to ramp him up, but as far as synergies go, you're going to want to run blade synergy, so your judgments have a 100% chance to trigger. If you don't have a blade, you can run man thing, because uh, man thing, like once you've triggered like one or two judgments, you're going to get like guaranteed judgments from there. Uh, but you know, not as good as Blade, but a, a solid alternative option if you only have Man Thing and no Blade. And his Awakened ability gives you access to another Judgment, which gives you access to a longer life steal duration as long as you do them in the correct order. And then finally, we have Gladiator Hulk, who I argue is better without suicides, but hey, he's compatible with them as well because of that poison immunity. Um, his Awakened ability is what gives you access to the regeneration. So if he's not awakened, he's not the world's greatest taxi. Um, but once awakened, you know, you you get a coin flip on a heal and you know you only need to get that once or twice in a quest path to really get like an absolute mega ton of healing his damage is very consistent you don't need synergies and you don't need to ramp him up which is like really the ideal way to have a taxi uh, so as far as the better without list, we have Captain America Infinity War, uh, whose sustain is in the fact that he just has a ridiculously absurd block proficiency. His damage is very consistent, no ramp needed, and then uh, his synergies and awaken ability just provide utility. I think a lot of people, they say Captain America Infinity War, he's only good if you have him awakened in high sig. And for the most part, that's true if you're using him as a counter or, or tackling specific nodes. But if you're just using him for synergy, all you need is that super mega high block proficiency. That's really all you need because after that, uh, you know, the consistent damage from parry heavy playstyle will just add up from there. Next up is Domino. She doesn't really have anything to offer in the sustain type category, but when it comes to damage, man, Domino's damage is just insanely fast. Uh, so you really don't care that you're taking block damage here and there uh, just because you're just going to have them dead so quick. The only caveat is that you do need Red Hulk synergy with Domino in order to get that like super wicked damage. Uh, and you, you're going to want Massacre as well if possible, but at the very least, you need Red Hulk synergy. Awakened ability, unnecessary. 
Next up, we have Glade. Uh, his sustain comes from his awakened ability. It's a nice little heal. Uh, his damage is very consistent. No ramp needed. You're going to want to run Ghost Rider and Stark Enhanced Synergy if possible. Uh, and his awakened ability is strictly necessary in order to get the sustain. If you don't have him awakened, you're not getting a taxi out of him. You're just getting the like general counter version of him, uh, which is fine. He's still a great champion, but the sustain and the taxi form comes from having him awakened. Next up is Darkhawk. Darkhawk's uh, better without... And this one might be controversial because people will say, oh, he's double immune. But the thing about Darkhawk is that um, every time you uh, change phases, um, essentially by throwing a special 2 and a special 3, if you have suicides on, you're suffering from recoil. Uh, and when you suffer from recoil, the regeneration you get almost is just, it's just nullifying it, right? You're just trading one for the other. So you're actually not getting any healing. So when you're not running suicides, you don't have to worry about recoil. You're just getting that heal for free, uh, which is a really, really good time because it's a solid amount of health every time you change phases. Uh, you know, so I just think if you're using him strictly as a taxi, he's better without suicides. Uh, his damage is very consistent, no ramp needed, but you do need to run either Moon Knight or Night Thrasher uh, to really help accelerate the fights. Uh, but hey, you know, that's just my thought, and you're going to get a better regen out of it once you've, you've properly accelerated. And I'm going to say his awakened ability is necessary, because without his awakened ability, uh, you know, the damage department really lacks. And, you know, when the damage department lacks, it doesn't matter if you have good regen, because you're just taking so much damage over time. Next up, we have Sunspot, who has a conditional perfect block, which is very, very easy to trigger. Uh, and because of that, like once you've done like one parry, or as long as um, you can consistently hit into the opponent, you don't have to worry about taking block damage, which is a really good way to sustain through fights. You don't need to ramp him up. No synergies are necessary, and you don't need him awakened. Next up, we have Venom. Venom uh, can Omnom buffs with his special one, giving him a nice little heal. Uh, you know, it's not good in every single matchup, but it's still nice to have and well, good to uh, relatively notice. And his damage is very high in the burst spectrum. He has very good early damage uh, and like a wicked good special two damage when you get to that phase. Uh, so even if you're not Omnoming fights every single fight, uh, you could end them fairly quickly with Venom, so you don't have to worry too, too much um, about taking a lot of damage over time. And he's fairly intercept friendly as well. Uh, his awakened ability are gonna is gonna make your fights faster, but it's not necessary at all. Venom the Duck is probably one of the best uh, non-suicide taxis in the game. Uh, just in my opinion, he is a roulette regeneration, but you can just keep rinsing the first fight over and over again until you get one of these. And then once you've gotten one, you can just like use the next fight to essentially eat it again, guarantee yourself a second one, uh, and then from there on, you just have like a really good amount of healing every single fight, uh, and you can just like consistently proc it off of a special three. It's just a really good time. His damage is fairly consistent. It feels a little weak at first, but once you've got him proper ramped up, it feels amazing. Toxic armor just does insane amounts of damage, uh, and it feels really good. He does have a one to three fight ramp up, kind of depending on RNG, but you don't need suicides, and his awake ability just is going to help you ramp up a little bit faster at the start of every fight but completely unnecessary so that said i do want to say like scarlet witch is over here and she'll always be all over here but she's a four star so she doesn't make my list of the best of the best but if we're talking only four stars she definitely deserves that lineup uh, and so I hope you guys have learned a little bit or appreciate the concept of a taxi Because uh, in my opinion your first rank four and your first rank five five star should be someone on this list uh, Because someone on this list is just gonna get you through so 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 much content uh, And just provide you consistent constant value uh, Because they're your taxi. They are your go-to deliver me to my destination champion uh, and that is so, so useful in a game like Marvel Cops is the champion. So that said, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good night.